Rokia Namulinda is a mother of three living in Mayuge district in eastern Uganda. Her first two children were born at home, but the third child was born at Mayuge Health Center 3. It was Hanifa Namusovia, a village health team member, now helping to wash Rokia's baby, who advised Rokia to change behavior and attend antenatal care at the health center, prepare for birth, and deliver from there when it was time for the baby to be born. Hanifa is a village health team member who is part of a community quality improvement team established under the expanded quality management using information power to improve maternal and newborn health in Uganda, EQUIP project. This project is undertaken by Makerere University School of Public Health as part of a study to try out new approaches emphasizing a comprehensive district-wide quality management for maternal and newborn care at community, health facility and district level within available resources. This project was conceived to address the problem of mothers and babies dying. So for the first time we took quality improvement which has been mainly done um, on specific diseases and also done on in health facilities. We took it from health facilities to all communities, but also to the district level, to the management level. Uh, and the idea or the rationale of the project uh, was that uh, even with the resources that you already have, if you focus on identifying uh, bottlenecks, you prioritize and you plan better, use local available data, you can improve. Makirere University and Ifakara Institute in Tanzania had already conducted the studies to improve the quality of newborn care in the home, but found that the quality of care in the health facilities was not good enough. So Makirere and Ifakara joined hands with London School of Hygiene, Eva Plan of Heidelberg University and Karolinska Institute of Sweden to set up EQUIP essential quality improvement using information power, which aim to do systemic quality improvement linking communities with their health facilities. We are now sharing the results with the Ministries of Health in Uganda, Tanzania, WHO and UNICEF, and we expect our results to actually have a big impact on the way we think about improving quality of care for mothers and newborns. Equip project facilitated the establishment of 72 quality improvement teams, one at each parish was set up, with each village represented by two village health team members, VHTs, throughout Mayuga district. These were trained and provided a monthly stipend of 10,000 shillings, equivalent to $4, to provide basic support to mothers and their newborns in their homes and to refer them to health facilities. <laughs> The VHTs help to identify and register pregnant women and newly delivered mothers in their localities and advise them to visit the health facility nearest to them for antenatal care with reference notes that help the health facility staff provide comprehensive support. They also follow up the mother to ensure that they adhere to the advice from the health staff. Hadjara Nakalende, a mother of three, was advised by a VHT to go to the health center when she noticed that her baby was turning yellow, a sign of jaundice, one of the danger signs of newborn babies. <laughs> The data gathered from these continuous surveys is summarized in report cards used in the regular learning sessions at health facility, sub-county and district levels.
these report cards show the statistical trends per round. Yeah, if it is staffing in health facilities, we are able to see the level of staffing, the level of equipment. Uh, we are also able to track the facility records. We are able to know the number of deliveries, the, num the mortality levels, such that these report cards are used by the district health teams to improve uh, health services in the district. During the learning sessions, the quality improvement teams look at the challenges they face, suggest change ideas to improve the way their services are being delivered, then act on them. After which they study the effect of the change ideas on quality improvement and either adopt them if they work well or throw them away if they don't work. This process of planning, doing, studying and acting, PDSA, is a continuous process of quality improvement. Uh, the idea is that individual health units and individual communities can sit in their own health facilities and identify how they are performing, they identify uh, areas they need to improve, they identify current gaps, and they act on them using locally generated data. That is what we call plan, do, study, act, and it is continuous. One of the major bottlenecks identified by some parish quality improvement teams was the lack of transport money for the mothers to seek antenatal delivery and postnatal services. Establishment of village savings and loan associations was agreed upon as a change idea whose implementation has helped many mothers to access health care. Justine Akello is a mother of six. Five of her children were delivered at home. Chibinabchino, <laughs> Other change ideas included providing referral notes to mothers and escorting them to the health facility. This had a significant impact in increasing the number of mothers and babies surviving through increased utilization of health facility services. Before the coming of EQUIP, Mayuge district had registered a small turn up of mothers in antenatal clinic. Maybe to, of the pregnant mothers, it could be around 20 to 30 percent of antenatal clinic visits of the pregnant mothers. But still, was still, of this small number turning up, it was much smaller of the mothers who were delivering in a health facility. They were again reducing as you come to delivery. With the introduction of this study, we have sensitized mothers. The number of mothers turning up to antenatal clinic has increased to an average where well above 80 percent antenatal attendances. With the number of incentives which are being put there like a mother care kit and the other incentives have attracted mothers, including sensitization. At the health facility level, EQUIP supported the formation of quality improvement teams, QITs, at each of the 30 health facilities offering maternal and newborn care services in Mayuga district. These teams continuously review what they are supposed to do, identify bottlenecks, and implement new change ideas to address their challenges within the resources they have using the PDSA approach, which has boosted the quality of services provided. They also link with VHT and the district level QIT. Quality improvement learning sessions at health facility level have encouraged staff to be more thorough in following the prescribed procedures for mother's health care at the different levels of antenatal, delivery, and postnatal. As a midwife, and when a mother comes, we are supposed to health educate, 
we take a weight we take a blood pressure but all those things we were not doing before equip but when equip came in it reminded us of what to do so we started taking weight to every mother who comes at every visit and this helps us to know whether the, this mother the baby is growing well or it is not growing well whether the baby is a postmature or a premature it helps us and it also helps us to rule out other complications on this mother omusawo wabajire nti oba mujire kukukebero mukobero obubwero obukuluma atuka ya kwero kaminga bulungi wena wena ya kokobere shiri jokolebwa wabali ja kuchechinga wena wena general examination era ya kunonola shali jokola chi cha jokola ya ya kukebera e irati walinga onti bakebero oba pressure nge byuma bizirawo e iranga omusawo tasobola kukebera ya kukebera anti fito heart yo mwana bo mutima go mwana guwera guti ngezira oba palusi eliyeti ngezira ngo omusawo kasita kulinga kwa kuelekera wawo ai sawe no bakwinonola bulungi bakwiza mu amani bakoba mama otatia ojaza ala bulungi era omutima ogwo mwana guli guti ate wena olioti Health facility quality improvement teams meet every month for mentorship sessions guided by a mentor from the district quality improvement team. They review their performance using the data generated and summarized in report cards. The district quality improvement team comprising the senior health staff meets every month to review information generated from the health sub-district learning sessions and data gathered by the community and health facility quality improvement teams. They have the important role of mentoring the 30 teams at the health facilities. We identified mentors who will be moving in facilities to go and mentor the health workers to do the right things. And the mentors were being facilitated to go every month on a monthly basis to go in the facilities. Now when we went to the facilities, as mentors, we could look in the, check the registers, the HMS registers, and also sit with the facilities to help them identify their own problems. Because it was quality management, and you identify your own problem, and you solve it at your level. District assessment of the outcomes of EQUIP project indicates significant changes in service delivery and uptake following the establishment of the quality improvement teams at district, health facility and community levels. We've seen uh, increased utilization uh, in terms of the number of women who come to deliver in health facilities, those who attend antenatal care, those who attend postnatal care, and those do, that do uh, the required maternal and newborn care practices. Like some of the key things that have been a, a problem previously in Usoga and in Uganda in general, women don't prepare for birth. But because of this initiative, working with local communities themselves, uh, we've seen um, a lot of improvement in the birth preparedness. Uh, we have also seen an increase in the number of women who deliver in facilities. We've seen that women have stopped uh, putting uh, substances on the umbilical cord. You know, those things can be a basis for children getting infection. Uh, also in terms of exclusive breastfeeding, which is very important for newborn babies and the need also for the mother, uh, this improved uh, significantly. The EQUIP project is funded from the European Union's seventh framework program for research and implemented under the Ministry of Health, which will evaluate the outcomes for policy review. Under our current health sector strategic and investment plan, we are focusing a lot on improving the quality of services uh, delivered at the health facilities. And in that line, we came up with uh, our quality improvement framework and strategic plan. And all our partners involved uh, in the health sector are guided by this framework to use a harmonized approach to quality improvement. And um, EQUIP is one of those uh, projects that is focusing on maternal and child health. And 
we see that the approach they are using is actually what the Ministry of Health is promoting, whereby uh, we need the health workers to really sit down and analyze those factors that are leading to uh, poor performance or leading to not achieving or attaining the indicators that are set. The project implementation reveals some of the endemic challenges that plague African health systems. It's very difficult to get district people uh, meeting in a team because there have a lot of demands, uh, several uh, vertical programs uh, that uh, prohibit them from having time to, to be able to meet, to review and support the health facilities, but also the communities. Our work led to a significant improvement in the number of women coming for services. Health workers were attending to mothers longer because they needed to examine all mothers uh, comprehensively. And now it was taking more time uh, to attend to, to women and newborns and of course, other people will come to use services. So the issue of human resources. Another challenge has been the issue of commodities. I mean, when you have an increase in utilization, there's also an increase in the consumption of commodities. And the common aid is run out. Another major issue that uh, I think the government must improve uh, is provision of some uh, essential must-have uh, drugs at health facilities that every woman who is delivering needs, uh, so drugs like egometrine, oxytocin, drugs that stop women from bleeding. These have not been available consistently. The government of Uganda is trying to address the challenges of inadequate human resources and their remuneration packages. Last year we did increase the health workers in this country. We managed to recruit an additional 7,211 health workers. And of course, these were focusing mainly uh, health workers for the health center threes and the health center fours where majority of the services are. So uh, we hope also to increase um, uh, another addition of maybe 3,000 health workers this financial year. Uh, issues of motivation are a bit of a challenge, but we are doing our best to ensure that um, we increase, uh, we've increased the salaries of the workers across the board, but most importantly, in a, in, in a phased manner, we shall address some of the challenges like staff accommodation, which is also a problem because it's not just their attitude, but you know these other factors can affect them. However, the district staff are positive about the long-term impact of the project on the quality of service after its implementation has expired. When the equipment goes away, we reach to a compromise that we, our health workers, our CDMC, we have to continue with the teamwork, the way how we've been working, because we could not work alone. We've been working as a team. The DHO team has to supervise us on a monthly basis.